Show.com is back at it again. Today we are at the Knitting Factory in Williamsburg, Brooklyn with the boys of Civil Twilight. Thank you so much, guys. What's going on today? <laughs> you know what? Let's get pumped up. They can have on the show here today. guys are on tour right now, okay? Yeah. Going through cities all over the country. Now, what are some rituals on tour, especially right here in good old New York City? Mm. Uh, rituals. Carrie and Harry. Carrie and Harry. Explain. Mamoun is fluffle I'm in Greenwich Yes. In the MoMA. Yes. Let's go to the MoMA. Yeah, well, there's a few spots we hit up in yeah. New York. Carrie and Harry is the Indian restaurant on the corner. Okay. Like, where we usually stay. Like, and they're open to like four. So and they have like three, get Indian food and it's very good. Nice. Yeah. So all right, so that's kinda innocent stuff. Let's hear about <laughs> some, let's hear about some bad boy shit. Come on. No no uh, there's, there's, there's a bar like right by our apartment so Right on. Spend a lot of time nice, there. nice, nice. Pretty much as exciting as it gets. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So let's talk about the grassroots of the band. The band comes from the beautiful area of Cape Town, South Africa. Okay. Now, how was it like starting out over there and then brought in your, yourself out within that crowd and then the States? Yeah. Well, the scene over there is really small. It's completely different to here. So we grew up like, I mean, we, we didn't really even play shows when we first started. We just used to like, get together and write songs and jam together because we were all friends. And then we started playing like a few clubs around South Africa. Um, but there's only like probably four major cities. So even if you wanted to tour, we did maybe one tour, but it would only take you like a week to do the whole country. <laughs> so we just, that's kind of why we, we wanted to move to America so we could try try like in the big league, so to speak. And speaking about growth, okay, uh, with the song, anybody out there, okay? We get to see the progressive side, okay? Now, are we gonna see much more of that coming out on on the records coming out soon, or? I don't know, I think we, we're getting older. Yeah, why is less, it? Less, yeah. yeah, why is it less aggressive, maybe? But I, I kind, of, kind of like wanna make a record that sounds like Oasis. Okay. That'd be pretty fun. Really? <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we just we trying to we trying to like as a musician, you spend a lot of your time learning how to not play, and that can, that's kind of a, being a mature artist. I think. So we'll probably hopefully release records that are a little more simple. Or, I don't know. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Right on. <laughs> right on. No, no, no. You know. Keep, keep it simple and then keep the answer simple. You know, right? you know what's funny about interviews is we learn a lot about, about each other from the way we answer the questions. Right. And so I've never heard Andrew talk about that, okay. but I'm, I'm hearing it now for the first time, and he's telling you, a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's, it's cool because like in interviews, a lot of times we, we all go like, huh. Or Steve will, Steve will yeah. describe what, uh, like what a song means to him, and all of us go, yeah. Oh wow! You, I, I had no idea. So if we're going yeah. like that, it's because we're like learning something. <laughs> yeah. we're we're the same place you were. We never talked about that. Yeah. I mean, obviously we just released this one, so I'm not thinking that far So I was just listening to Oasis. I was like, it's pretty badass. Song. It's Hey guys, we're Civil Twilight, you're watching LocalBozo.com. 